Hey guys, check me out. I'm gonna do a short sale real quick. Here's how this goes. Smoking tire vintage look shirt with no car in it, in blue and in red, and we're only gonna sell them for 10 days. July 31st through August 10th, that's it. Hit the link in the description, buy one of these shirts, and come August 10th, we're taking them down and we're never putting them back up. That's how it's gonna go. Limited edition sale, get them while they's hot. Hit that link. What's up, kids? Smoking Tire Podcast. We here. This is uh, third podcast in two days, so hopefully, it's hopefully be this one sticks. Guest driven. No, the second <laughs> one stuck. The first one didn't stick. But uh, John Klein is in the house. Yo yo. Hello. What's going on? And uh, uh, everything's everything's good over here. Had a long day. I, I've done a podcast and I did four car reviews this morning. That sounds awful. Busy day. How was yeah. your How's your day? It's been all right. Yeah. You rolled up in a in a fake A8. Yeah, <laughs> it's dope actually. It's really comfortable. Is that a G G90? Yeah, is this G90? It's the big motor too. It's the well, a big motor. No, is it a five liter V8? No, no, no. They got rid of the five liter. Did they? Yeah, it's kind of a sweetheart of an engine. I know. Actually. No, the best it, thing by far about that R spec thing they had. Mm -hmm. Ooh, but this one's the new three three t uh, turbo. Turbo. Yeah, turbo. Turbo. Twin turbo. I think it's a twin turbo. Kind of fun to say that. Though. It does. Twin turbo. Twin turbo. Um, but uh, there's a rumor that it's going to go into coupe. Mm. I thought the coupe was kind of dead. Is the coupe kind of dead? No. It's not. No. That's good. I have been told, I like incidentally, from uh, like a Hyundai rep, like one of their designers, that the coupe is definitely on the horizon. They just got a couple things before that, and one of them I think is an SUV. Big surprise. That's where the money is. Yep. I always. Uh, Liked the second gen coupes pretty. They were they're nice little cars. The last one, yeah, this, yeah the yeah, big yeah, mouth yeah. one. But I could never uh, pick them over something else. No, I don't mean that to be a dick. I just like no. You know, I, in that I, price I totally range, get that. It's not what I. I'd want something a little less well rounded, right? Yeah, like an FRS or pretty not much. A, yeah, whatever it's called now, GT eighty six. Do they officially change it? Yeah. I don't keep up with these. Well, because it switched from Scion. Because Scion oh, yeah, is right. dead. Obviously. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Of course they did. Yeah. Um, but I yeah, I drove the last gen, and it was the R-Spec. The, the Genesis? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the first gen was not so good. The second gen was better. It was better. It still wouldn't let you really drift, which kind of sucked. I didn't actually try to drift it. It was kind of It got fun. real hot. I, w I remember that. Did it? Yeah. The engine bay got super, super, super mm -hmm. hot. Did the like just touching it, or did the did the did the the gauges go? Whoosh? The gauges were fine, but the like the actual. I remember like we were we were shooting it for something. I don't remember what, but we just like put our hand down on the hood, and it just would like singe were all you, of us. Were you like in the desert? You know? No, no. Well, Santa Clarita, but like oh. in the mountains. Okay, I mean, like little Tahunga. Okay, I you know I could see it getting hot. It could yeah, happen. Yeah, I've gotten cars. I got a car hot today, although Which, it might have been a broken sensor. First gen CTSV. Oh yeah, well. But no, five like five those minutes. It should have been fine. It's five minutes of like medium driving at not even that hot of a temperature, and the oil gauge started going ding ding ding, and it read like three hundred and thirty degrees. That. But you know Bozy. Yeah, yeah. So I hit up Bozy because he knows these things, and I was like, "What's up with this?" And he said, "There was a there was a uh, TSB out for a reflash for a faulty sensor, so it's uh, probably it probably it's never probably had the flash a, done." Yeah. Come to think of it, I should probably email that to the guy. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I'll note that. For well, me. they actually, Bozy and everyone else and Freddie uh, all came to my aid last night because my golf decided just to take a shit. Your your new golf? Yeah. Really? What what kind of shit did it take? Electrical. Like Really? Everything just went to fuck all. Really? Yeah. We, were, we actually went to get tacos. Uh -huh. And... Um, we just parked it, and then all of a sudden, like, I tried turning it on again, and it just went... Rink, 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 rink. Like that tick, 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 tick? Yeah. But and then not a usual tick. Like, it didn't sound like it was just the battery that was dead. Yeah. It sounded like everything was dead, and it just died. It had to be trailered to Volkswagen. But supposedly, it's just the battery, but I don't know if I believe that. Oh, <laughs> uh, that sucks. I'm so sorry. <laughs> well, when do you get it back? Tomorrow. Okay. All right. Well, fingers it's, crossed. Well, it's it's now Allie's car. So is that? Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Oh. I drive did she press cars. 
Oh, really? You're that guy now? Well, you got a magazine fleet. God, well, I, you, I'm so jelly. Well, I had a motorcycle, so and then I took that to the dealer, and it decided to die. And really? Oh yeah. Engine oh. engine completely seized on Did me. You say it, can we say it got climbed? Yeah. Can that be? Is that? It's like the new Munson. Yeah. It got climbed for yeah. sure. Well, it originally it make a fuck. Climbing, remind me to make a T-shirt of this. <laughs> climbing originally, per Jeff, was just me killing tires, and now it's yeah. It's just killing. Everything. <laughs> now you're just killing everything just you killing touch. Everything. Hands off the table. We need this rig. I won't touch it. We first sat down and went. <laughs> I was like, oh no, settle in, baby. We're here. <laughs> Everything. We have, you know, we, uh, uh, so, okay. You've been on adventures. Been on a couple. And I want to hear about the sprint car. Those are, are dope. Did poo come out? No. Is it, it's either way harder than it looks or kind of easy and crazy and fun. It's crazy and fun. I don't know if it's easier than it looks. Cause I thought going into it, it'd be like a drift car. And it's not. No. What is it? Like a rally car. Oh, Okay. So instead of power most of the time and sliding yeah. everything, you're coming in hot from like sh- like the very narrow straights. Yeah. Off gas. And then you're just hitting the, it sideways. To hitting the brake, getting it to corner around, and then midway through, you're yeah. you're making a straight line again. Huh. Sounds like a party. Yeah. One but s- one speed? throttle travel is a quarter of an inch. Oh, really? Yeah. So it's on, it's on or off. It's on or off. Is that the point? Is the point to be? I mean, I guess it's a I race don't really car, know because so yeah, they keep they kept telling me they're like be smooth, and I'm like, how the <laughs> fuck do I be smooth with this much travel? <laughs> and they're like, you just do it, and I'm like, how? Teach me how, gurus. And was it a direct drive or is there a gearbox? Direct drive. Oh, uh, so you have to get did you have to get push started? Yes, I did. That's fun. Which is really fun. Yeah. What do you just dump the clutch from? No, no. There's no clutch. Uh, all you do is it's being pushed. And it's just that fires it's, the motor. It's in, like, there's a neutral and then there's a, a gear. Yeah. And you just put it into gear. You wait till oil, oil pressure comes on, which is the only uh, gauge in okay. this thing. <laughs> and then you hit a starter switch, but it's not like a, like a traditional starter. It's more like a taser that just shocks the engine. Really? And just shoots a huge spark there? Yeah, and then turns it on. Because it, it doesn't, like... You just go from what technology? Nothing, is nothing. This? <laughs> oh, this it gets what better. What year approximately is that technology? Nineteen ten, of course, because the the yeah, the like, steering box is yeah. the exact same design as a Model T. Oh, that makes sense. That mean uh, that that mean it makes sense. Would it be beneficial to swap to run a sprint car rack in your Model T? Do you think make it handle mm, better? Probably. Probably make it sketchier. I bet. I bet it's even quicker ratio, right? Yeah. Model T's has about fucked up at Bothwell on um, All Cars Go to Heaven to watch this motherfucker drive the Model T. The um, man's a maniac, though. But the amount of steering, it's, it's literally like one turn lock to lock. To off-road like that for <laughs> hours is crazy. Motherfucker had like Popeye arms by the oh, end yeah. of it. And he could do it while smoking an 18-inch cigar. <laughs> that's that's baller. So these had uh, yeah, this, this these had power steering, but not oh, it's really mo- power Model T racks. It's weird because like a fucking RC car because right? like the tires are you know eight inches across in the yeah. front. But so you, you have a little bit of power steering, but it doesn't really feel like power steering. It feels like four C, like Alpha four C kind of steering. A compliment? So, no. <laughs> <laughs> so okay. it's heavy, and it's really awkward because the wheel is angled kind of. More like a bus. I understand the bus driver. Yeah, the bus driver position for sure. Uh, I usually call it UPS truck, but you say yeah, yeah, same yeah. deal. Same deal. Yeah. And uh, so, and how many turns would you say lock to lock? Oh, you're never doing anything more than it's like know, a hat. Like it's like, like a half turn, and then you're because you're immediately as soon as you go into it, you're going into a slide. Yeah. So you're you're counter steering all of it. So you're never really locked to lock. I you mean, know, it's probably half a turn. And how much of it, like, when I've seen these things race, I've never been in one. When I see these things race, they carve a pretty specific groove in the track. Yeah. Like, how much of the groove drives you through the corner? Some of it. It's like, is it like but sliding the, into a snow embankment, like in the, you If you know, get outside, yeah. you, you definitely get, like, a weird kind Does of vibration. Soft towards the wall? Yeah. Yeah. And then it gets super sketchy. Um, but then as soon as you go around it a couple times. So we did... F- 50 laps um like spaced out it was probably more but i did my laps 
in the first part of the day when the when it was kind of like clumpy and then i did my last laps at the last end of the day when the track was essentially ice that sounds so awesome it was amazing and how long the track how long is the track this one was a fifth mile oval it's shit a i so weird. I can I just. I've never. It's a weird. I'm not sure I've heard of a. Fifth it's small. Mile, it's super yeah. small. It's the one it's a lap in Ventura. Like Ten seconds, like eighteen seconds or something. Like sort that? of like that. Yeah. I think I was on an eighth mile once, and a lap was like eighteen seconds. It's. It was so silly. I got, I did five laps. I was like super dizzy. The people, like the guys that do this, like for a li- like a living, at, like professionals, they do it in like eighteen seconds. So like, it was me, Alana, Bossum, and then Brad Iger from like Digital Trends and yeah. something. And we were doing it way slower than that because we had none of us knew what the hell were you doing. Um, that still sounds like the best. Did you guys race each other? No, they wouldn't let us out. Really? Yeah. No timed runs. No timed runs. You know, but I, we I had understand. S- I 650 say I horsepower. I completely understand. Direct drive, which was baller as fuck. And what's was it like a school specifically? Yeah, yeah, Corey Kersman, uh Racing School. So you can go and do this for like I think it's 800 bucks, and for, you get 50 laps for 50 laps. Yeah. It's not bad. It's half a day. It's not bad. And I really like these that. aren't like watered down race cars like you usually get at yeah. performance schools. These are literally the cars they raced the night before. Oh, they're ra- they're racing their per- they're renting their personal cars out of these people. They have two cars so that are be an insurance policy, right? Th- they have really good deals with their sponsors. That's what they told so, me. Really? Yeah, they do get everything. Off, do people write off the cars? You have to sign a waiver. It, 100% like, people write these yeah. things off. Are they built to splatter? For the Not things? really. They're, they're they built tumble. fairly tough. They tumble, right? Yeah. These didn't have the wings. which No was arrow. No right. arrow. Because it's the the fifth mile oval that we were at. Mm-hmm. It doesn't need wing. Okay. So what are the big? what's the big one? Is that a quarter mile oval is the big one? I think like a half mile. Half mile? Yeah. I went to one in uh, North Carolina where there was kids racing. Oh, yeah. Two kids showed up in like smaller little sprint cars yeah. and they were flying. Dude, I was at an all kids night, but it was in uh, what's the fucking town in North Carolina? More uh, Mooresville. Yeah. Where like NASCAR is. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So it was literally the, like the kids of like Dale Earnhardt Jr. And, oh, like, yeah. All their kids. And these kids are nasty as hell. Hucking it. Crazy speeds. Crazy so the, speeds. I think that was a eighth mile or a sixth mile. Or something yeah. Like so the, the two kids that showed up, they're like 10. And they're running midgets, which are the four cylinders. Right. So the big V8s that we were driving, you get off the gas. And you're like, all right, you deal, you drive it like a rally car. With the midgets, you're driving it like a drift car. So they're on gas. They were on gas, four cylinders fun. just flying and around the motors? track. I don't Something know. Like Maybe. Whatever. That sounds great. They were, they were way faster than all of us. <laughs> I bet. A fast kid is nothing to fuck with. No. You go to a car track, you see a 12-year-old there that has got, you know, properly geared up. You're prepared to see some shit. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. The, the one kid came with, like, a, a bag, and he had full race suit and, like, personalized helmet. I'm like, all right. Fuck Is you. it full painted? Full yeah. paint? Yeah. Like a Death Star or something? It was it was obnoxious to the point I was like, all right, I'm going to get beat by this kid. Yeah. Kind of just want to run you over right yeah, now. Yeah, just back off and just be like, you know, even if you win, just be like, yeah, I let him. Yeah, done. He's a kid. I'm not gonna. Kid. I'm not gonna like kid. beat a kid. A kid. I'm a professional automotive journalist. <laughs> <laughs> I can't beat a kid. Um, let me uh, let me stop this just in case, just so I don't, just yeah. so I don't, I don't pull a Danny, a Danny George. Yeah, which let's is not a, do that. Just a me. Hang on. We are recording. <laughs> I haven't, I haven't, uh, I haven't ruined things. Thank the Lord. That's good. We're good. I only started referring to the Lord. <laughs> When I started being responsible for, for, sh- for the show. Yeah. <gasps> then th- th- then the thank Lord. you. Thank you, Jesus, Save Muhammad, and board. everyone. And, you know. Jewish now Jesus. Now I got to wear headphones and stuff. You, have you watched the uh, the Dr. Dre and uh, Jimmy Iovine thing uh, on HBO? Yeah. You know, I like, you. Ha- I kind of hated Beats a lot, and I still kind of do, but you have to respect the hustle. Oh, yeah. Didn't he? To. He sold it. Yeah, for and th- then three point two billion, but he bought it like he sold it for like money, and then bought it back and then sold it again. Uh, did he sell it twice? Yeah. Well, I th- they only they so left that part. Out. I think he sold it for fifty million. He then like built up some cash and then like it wasn't doing that hot. 
he bought it again and then sold it to whoever owns it now. Sprint. Apple. Apple? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Three point two billion. Yeah, sold it to Apple. Yeah. Yeah, oh, that's possible. They they left out some of the details of that. Yeah. In the beat because they were focusing on, you know the big one. The big the, selling yeah, three point two billion. billion. You hear the B, that's what they want. Well, can you uh, can you slide that fan kind of under the table? Yeah. I think uh I just we can, I can hear it. Like look, our uh our air conditioning is broken. I got, I feel uh, I feel like a duty. Oh, that's way better. I feel um a duty to give like technical updates cuz I want to so everyone knows. Well, we're moving towards live yeah. and I've ordered the live internet or the 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 the, the internet the speed. The speed, the speed you need 320. Oh, that's good. Yeah. I actually got a decent deal on it too. Um, but are they, it takes, are they sending fiber to here or are they, I don't know if it's fiber, but it needs an installer and three weeks. So I can't live for a couple weeks, but we're going to, you know, fingers crossed. I don't like giving timelines on anything. Yeah. Cause it fucks me every yeah. time, every single time. Can't do that. But I hope some people are enjoying the video version of this, you know? I mean, we could always just start making really funny faces or flipping off the camera. Or, Maybe we're not know. taking advantage of the format. Yeah. That's why I put a chair here with a computer control for hopefully a podcast producer that could inject in that computer where the camera is some, some boom. Some, some stuff. Boom. We could some pull shit. off things and we'd be like, here, here's what we've been doing. We could put pictures of SL500s. Exactly. Boom. You got to have that collectible classic. Oh, collectible. That uh. Have we talked since then? I mean, we've uh no, and you have to drive the Mustang again. As a yeah, matter of fact, since it's John wrote out. an article on the Mustang for uh. But did you see? I have two photographs yeah. in the office that are based on Robin's pictures. Yeah, I'm uh, not selling those. That's why I thought that was okay. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's fine. I don't think Robin cares. He did a really good job. He did. Made the car look dope. And we got so lucky with the rain because it looked sick. It looked way better than what it would have just like normal. Yeah. And, and normal press photography is kind of like, oh, this is a three quarter. This is yeah. this. This is action. A and little could, formulaic. Yeah. The rain gave it a little bit of depth. It almost made it look like we were driving like in Japan, right? Yeah, it kind of did. It, it, which works with the style of the car, I think, a yeah, little bit. It looked cool. It was very. It was. It was a super cool, and, and I, I liked Robin a lot. He was great. Yeah, guy's talented. Super talented. Even uh, there's a shot that's like head on against just a stone wall, but like it was wet, and so the it, the wall wasn't like. Someone asked me the other day, like, where the fuck is this with that wall? Like, I don't know the wall. Malibu. In, yeah, but it was like, it's just right here. It's on, it's on PCH. Yeah. Right? Um, God, that guy can shoot. That was fun. But now we got to do one with the SL. We could do that. Talking about, talking about market fix. Is there's no law really against <laughs> market fixing? Not at all. No, it's like it's We're a, always looking for one. Might even call classics. it a, a pastime. <laughs> it's like you try and you crash them or break them. <laughs> I baby them too much. I wish I had. I wish I babied the cars less. I do that when it's other people's cars. When it's yeah. press cars. Oh, press yeah. cars. I know how you treat press cars. I just had the best time with a press car in Iceland with a McLaren. Which with one? A, which which the McLaren? The 570S, not oh, the 720. The, oh, okay. uh, they were not about to send a 720 to Iceland. They do that for Richard Hammond. They would not do that for me. They sent a 570 GT, though, and it was great. I still haven't driven it. I still oh, haven't it's driven the best. It. I'm so mad. Like, Alana had it, and then I was supposed to get it for a day, but I was going on a press trip the next If day. you're going to drive around Iceland, it's the best. <laughs> I imagine so. Yeah, it really is. It's got a good suspension and a good stereo, and, you know, the f iPod integration works. It has some electricals, some hiccup. I think, I, I don't think it, the customer cars... At least it's cars, not as bad as an Alpha. I think, well, I heard some not good things. I ran into an Alpha owner at a gas station yesterday, and he said he loves his Julia. Wait, was it a gray one? No, it was red. There's more than one in L.A. It was, there's a few of them because, No, because I was literally on Sunday, I was talking to another Julia. We found uh, Julia. the only guy who loves it. Well, I talked to another Julia owner, and he's just like, oh, no, I love it. Yeah. And I'm like, have you had well, any I issues? And he's like, no. Like, I mean, there was like the wa the headlight washer. Mm -hmm. It came pre-broken. He's like, I really didn't care. I, I wanted it then, and he hasn't fixed it since. <laughs> That's not good. I mean, we didn't we didn't break the one that we had, uh, but Lee Keen was not happy with its drifting qualities. I don't know. I didn't slide it. I've driven two. I've and driven a QV and a TI. Yeah. So the little motor and the big motor. Yeah. The QV, when I drove it, it felt like it went into limp mode. Uh-huh. And Alpha promises that, like, they 
send us another one and, and hopefully I'd have a better reaction to it. Cause yeah. I was just like, I literally just got into it and I was like, all right, whatever. This does not feel like it has 500 horsepower. And then a suspension failure oh, on no. another time. And, uh, the, oh, what is it? The alarm went off after it hit, got hit by like some rain and it wouldn't go off for 24 hours. It stayed on the whole time. Yes. The whole time. Yes. No. 24 hours it went off for? Yeah, like they finally pulled the like battery. <laughs> it took them 24 hours to disconnect the battery. <laughs> I disconnected the battery on minute seven. So, uh, and then we had a TI in, which, like, everything else performed fine. Like, yeah. it felt great. It everything f- else besides what? The window mirrors when we were driving, it decided just to go in for <laughs> no apparent reason. So, but it was, like, Jeez. dynamically, the engine felt great. Yeah. The steering felt great. Everything Jesus. everything worked. It was just the window mirrors. All right. Well, let me just say that for weird. the record, I drove a Stelvio for seven days in Italy, and it ran fine. Yeah. Like, there are... It was, there it are was a totally fine car. There was nothing at all wrong with it at all. It was a nice little thing, actually. I enjoyed the Stelvio. Had good, it had good steering. It had really fast steering. It made it fun. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so does the Julia. I just, yeah. It just, but it mine didn't break. So <laughs> the, if, if you have one and it doesn't break, it's nice. Yeah, okay. I imagine so. That but, that yeah. popping was. Uh, if, we, if you need to touch the mic, touch oh. the plastic portion of it. It grounds out the mic itself. If you touch it, it goes. Uh, <laughs> all right. You know, they make it the, because the problem is they'll blame me, and I'm just going to throw you in. It's the my bus fault. For that. Everyone, throw you in the bus. For that. Oh yeah, the fault. video. No, the video <laughs> people will understand. Yeah. The audio people, uh, they'll be like, Farah, you were fucking amateur. If you, if you go to the video people, just then you'll see what happened. Go to the video tape. Go to both. Listen to the podcast in your car and then watch it. Some people are, in fact, That's good. doing both, which I, you know, thank you. Thank you for that. <laughs> I know exactly what you were thinking at that point. I'm not point. sure, but thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah. I think they, pref- I think they go to the video probably because you can comment on it that's probably what i'm that makes guessing. sense yeah 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 comment that we hate like no they hate us i don't hate no actually most people uh were pretty cool in the in the first one i was surprised that's good the the second one hasn't gone up yet the i was alone i was all by myself and it, it looks like like prison lighting Ooh. like it looks like i'm in an interrogation room it's not good but it it well i guess we'll see it is by the time it is. this goes up we'll know uh, how it went <laughs> felt a little weird 60 minutes by yourself i did 46 by myself and then 15 with hannah and you know hannah wanted to talk about pooping you know I mean as, as, a fir- as a first appearance she just wanted to make sure that that's out there and you know she wanted to she wanted to make sure that her voice was really <laughs> was heard she all did about great poop. she great she was really funny i enjoyed that ha- i enjoyed having her on all about poop yeah, no, there's only like a three minutes on poop, really. The rest of it was... She we was, all do poop. So. I had people ask, <laughs> ask questions for her to ask me, and most people were like, did I ever have to choose between her and a car? Or like a car? Yeah, no, she likes the cars. Yeah. Um, what else have you been driving? So your, your Golf is broken. You drove a sprint car. What else you got? Uh, I did a CX-5 from L.A. to Chicago and then back. L.A. to Chicago and back? Yeah. Was there a purpose for that drive? That's a long time in a CX-5. Well, family's out there. Oh, okay. So we took, it was Allie and I, and then our dogs, and then we went back in for a press Fourth car? Yeah. That, were they cool? Did you notify? Well, it's our, four, it's our four season, so it's our long term. Oh, okay. So, so they you, don't really don't give a, a shit. Yeah, you don't need to write. They, yeah. That car's already gone. It's also Jacob, so uh, <laughs> Jacob's not going to give a fuck. <laughs> That's so cold. Yeah, well, you got you with the dog hair. You know, as a former DJ, oh, it's the been, dog hair would really... It's been to the, the wash twice just to get all that shit out. Yeah. Because I've got a husky and he sheds like, fu- like Actually, crazy. Actually, the CX-5 is kind of nice, though. It's really nice. It's slow, but it's kind of nice. I really wish it had a turbo. Yeah, okay, so here's one for you. The Alpha Stelvio is basically a faster CX-5. That sounds great. Like, people, I think, will position it as a, like a Macan competitor or an X3 competitor and it's not really that. How much is it? Well, how much does it I don't start? really I don't really know. I it was in euros. I I I want to I want to say it starts at 38,000 euros. All right, that's a expensive CX5. So I, yeah, but it's a it's way cheaper than you're getting a Macan for. That's true. I mean, you know, it has it's a four-cylinder turbo. 
The bad news is, it's 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 a pretty powerful four cylinder turbo. I think it's like two hundred. The two liter, right? Yeah. So it's the same one in the Julia. Yeah. So yeah, that's like three hundred torque and two eighty. It's got the horse. It's got zero below thirty five hundred. Uh, like I think this. So it has an old school like turbo lag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. The Stelvio does like I don't know zero to sixty in like seven seconds. It takes four of them, which is not bad. Yeah. It takes four of them to, to get to like twenty. Jeez. Dude, you can't like jump out in traffic. Like even in first gear, it's, so it's like, like a diesel. Mm, when you've got it like going, it it goes. It's, yeah, and it's like, well, this thing's kind of fast actually. Yeah. I even uh, up in the Swiss Alps, I preferred it to. I preferred the Stelvio to the Fiat One Two Four. In the in yeah, the, I mean for obvious reasons. <laughs> yeah, it was good though. The One Two Four is just. It's it's very uh, unfortunate. Yeah. Like it's, it's ugly. It's not well good if, dynamically. Like they they took all the g- like good dynamics of of the Miata. Yeah, and then just like it's like a Miata, but worse. Eh. Yeah, I just I drove one for a day in Europe, and I I was impressed at how much stuff the trunk is a little bigger. I was impressed at how much me and this oh, yeah. dude uh, this dude Reed, who's a producer on NBC Sports. He's actually he's like the network guy who babysits us. He's he's chill. Me and him had to do four hours with luggage in this car together across a, a big chunk of fucking Italy. It's not even part of the show. This was just a transit. Oh. And uh, and uh, that's why I can talk. It, it gives away nothing in the show because it was literally just a transit leg. Just the transit. But um, two, you know, six foot three guys. He's basically my size and our luggage in this thing. And it did fit. Like, I'll give him, you know, that it fit. And uh, the car has good mid-range like for passing because well, yeah, it has the, it has the turbo motor. yeah has... you give up the bottom and the top though it's only mid-range whereas the na motor has bottom and top which is actually it just doesn't want. have the middle yeah, yeah. Mm. sorry so uh anyway um so the cx-5 for what 2500 miles is what you yeah did? something like that then was it as I, I always thought it was nice it was fine radar cruise control is great oh is it good is yeah. it conservative a little but it's not bad Almost got a ticket in Utah. Who gets a ticket in Utah? Nobody gets tickets in Utah. <laughs> well, I was doing <laughs> <I'm just kidding. laughs> well, they upped the speed limit now to 80. Is it 80? Yeah. Were you like, whipping? Across the, yeah, I was Allegedly? Like, uh, Allegedly. Alleged. Well, uh, they didn't give it to me now. Oh, you got off? I oh, got off. Fast, I just yeah, got a warning. 90. Oh. Yeah. Utah, that's... You know. well, suppo- it, will, it was the, like, Is it 80 it was, now, but higher enforcement of the 80? Is yes. that the deal? Yeah. Oh, really? Because they, they just introduced it, so they're trying to make sure that it's... Everyone's yeah, kind yeah, of yeah. following the thing, so yeah. they can do it th- throughout the rest of the state. It's not like toll roads like in Texas where they did it, right? It's like full full state. Mm, it's still like I just drove in Utah like two weeks ago. It's all like I don't remember this? I don't know. It's what? it's smaller roads. It's smaller roads that they have eighty. Oh just, yeah, it's like one lanes each way, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they're they're a little bit more yeah. conservative with it. God, those Utah roads though, I love them. Oh, they're beautiful. I love them. Just. You it's you know ten, 10 mile viz, V one uh-huh. works brilliantly. You know you get a V you get a V one hit for 10, 12 miles. See, I didn't have mine. Well, I, oh, my last wah, one broke, wah. and then I had a really shitty one for like forty bucks. Do you think you would have got end. that? You think you would have got pulled over if you had it? I think no, probably not. I think no, my friend. Probably not. You're not getting pulled over. You. Not it was, out there. It was really annoying. They can be so like I I'm no 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 hate to the cops, but they can be lazy as fuck. Oh yeah. When there's like you know. Well, I know I got one. I got off because he looked at all the paperwork. So like my license was different. Yeah. My registration was different. My insurance was different, and they're and all, from all of them. So you like, drop is it license, registration, and automobile magazine business card? Is that pretty much? <laughs> they're, and they're and then they're like. They don't know what to do with it because yeah. it's like three different tickets. And they're like, eh, fuck this. Get yeah. out of here. Oh, so you actually got off thanks yeah. to press car, you think? Yeah, yeah. That's a, that's I honestly think it because the insurance that's was... That's sheer luck, by Insurance friend. is through automobile, but it's like a Michigan insurance. Mm-hmm. The registration is through Mazda Corporate, which is somewhere here. And then my... Does li- all that stuff really matter? Oh, he yeah. has to run it? Why? Because he has to run it all? Yeah. Oh. So it's, it's a different way of writing the ticket. And I think it's like two different tickets or three different tickets because you have to like, no, it's something weird. What? Yeah. The ticket goes to the driver. If you're speeding, as long as the car isn't stolen, then that's all they do. I they think just it's run just, the plate. I don't know. I mean, I've seen police. I officers. saw him like looking at all of it and he was just like, 
All right, because I gave him all of it, and I'm like, well, I'm shocked. This is not my any car. Highway patrol officer in America. Well, he was, just, hasn't seen he was literally just like, this is. I'm like, this is not my car, officer, and he's just like. What do you mean it's not your car? It's, I'm like, it's a press car. And I had to go into like a 10 minute oh, like, thing. Oh, no. Like, you what don't... a press car is. Yeah. And, they're, and they're like, all right. And then they went back. That's easier. Looked at it for say, five minutes. And they're like, oh, it's really easier in that care. case just to be like, I work for Mazda. It's not true. Yeah. But it's the same. And they'll just understand it. Yeah. Just be like, I work for Mazda. This is a corporate car. Yeah. <laughs> Done. I've had to, I tried, but I didn't give me shit. It. So thank had, you, officer. You. Confusion Ranger, works. Ranger. I can't remember. Maybe exactly. yeah. Why am I advocating a better way? Your way got you off. Yeah. Confusion fucking works. Thank I don't you, even officer. know why I decided Sheriff. to argue that. I agree with you. Yeah. Confuse the fuck out of him. There's this guy. What really annoyed me is Allie was going the exact same speed limit five minutes before, and then we switched, and then I got back onto the highway, and within two seconds. That has definitely Got happened to me. That's happened to me before during, like, you know, ball run and shit like that. <laughs> just like, There's this dude, so Klaus Edensberger. Do you know him? No. CEC Wheels. He's uh -huh. like this. He's a German guy. He's like a really fun guy. He's kind of nuts. And he's like a, a rally guy, gumball and ball run and all that stuff. And <laughs> Klaus had a, had, would, would do ball run with this other German guy. Yeah. And if they got pulled over, they of course, they have German licenses. They don't have – they're like – you know they they have whatever they have, but it's not American driver's licenses. Yeah, and they get pulled over. They just start screaming at each other in German, <laughs> and the the cop would just be like, "Oh, this is really you know." I am Germans not are, dealing with Germans. This. Are real fucking scary language too. Yeah, <laughs> it's not exactly dulcet tones. No, it's a scary language, and so uh, and, and he get <laughs> he would be <laughs> screaming at the guy, and they got off. They, I don't think they ever got one ticket. Confusion. That's works. a racket right there. I got. I. I've been. I've had. You ever been driving a pre-pro car that has like no VIN on it and yes. all kinds? Of, yeah. I haven't gotten pulled over in one. Though. I haven't. It's. It's an. It's a pain. That. That's real confusion. They just. They have that. Then They're, it's like. Yeah. It's one thing if like a CX-5 is just a normal you know one, but if you're driving some pre-production weird thing, oh, they got some. They're gonna look at you funny. Yeah. A, a, a one police officer I let drive a press car and it got me out of a ticket. I've let some sit in press cars. Yeah, I've done a bunch. There's been a bunch of that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but overwhelmingly, I have extremely positive relationships with the police, actually. I can't say fuck the police right now. Yeah. I mean, me, and the, me and the cops are in a good position. <laughs> you know, <laughs> knock on wood. Like, I, 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 I try to promote safe while. driving, you know, and they, uh, they, they see me at the gas station and don't come up the hill, I guess. I don't know. They're like, all right, lucky. we're good. Drove a really nice uh, 66 Coronet today Ooh. that that a guy had built uh, uh himself and it had like a five seven hemi in it and and just you know a bunch of hotchkiss suspension stuff and yeah some neat touches and so it handled a little bit handled pretty good yeah. Yeah, not bad i mean you know a little little wavy right a little wavy some you know the old cars they just either yeah. you go you know tube frame and go really really nuts yeah. or it's gonna be a little wobbly the Germans, yeah. though, the old German stuff doesn't do that. No, no, that no, shit no. is nice. You put some nice like but coilovers, the, and then you're fine. But this, uh, you know, it's nice when you meet a guy. Um, I should. Where's my phone? I'm gonna plug him. Um, it's uh, it's nice when you uh, you meet a guy who just he gets the finer details, you know. Uh, and there's there's some really neat details to it. Uh, okay, his I, I should plug this guy. His shop is uh, Alex Precision Machine. Uh, in uh, Air Arletta, California. Uh, he built an awesome coronet if you're a Mopar person. Um, so Alex Roy was considering coming by. I thought he was going to be here this week. Yeah, he is. He's coming in. I'm, I'm filming his Citroen SM tomorrow. I'm very excited. I think I know where he keeps mm. it. Uh, at Morgan West. He oh, he does it. keep it at Morgan West? Yeah. Oh, then never mind. There's, then there's another Citroen SM that looks exactly like Alex's that... Lives at a shop right by my house. Oh no, this one. Same this one color. Is Morgan West, the green. It's it's great. I can't wait to drive. But Alex just texted me because he was gonna get it and come here because he just landed. Having an issue with hood closing. Not gonna make it for podcast. <laughs> Fixing it will be good for tomorrow's drive. Call you soon. Okay, thanks, buddy. <laughs> so I only I don't want to read text messages on the show, but it's from Alex Roy. It's and uh, his from Citroen Alex. is broken. So does he still have the Morgan out here? Or did he get rid of the three wheeler out here? I don't know. He's got he's got one in New York for sure. Yeah, the, I think he drove it here. He drove it to New York from here. Didn't he go cross country? That was a thing. Yeah, yeah, with Bowman. Yeah, that seemed horrible. <laughs> I I saw a guy coming into Whole Foods yesterday that 
was the most perfect Morgan owner. He had like high pants and suspenders and oh. a white shirt and a beret and one of those like Salvador Dali oh, mustaches. Fuck it that was guy. um it was ridiculous. Um Can and we just at start first slapping those people. At first I saw his hat and wanted to make fun of him a little bit and then I saw his mustache and I was like, Oh, this guy's perfect. And Hannah was like, He's adorable. No. No, he was. He really it was adorable. No, I'm not I wasn't I'm not talking shit. He was perfect. I would if I would caricature that guy. Oh. Like he rolls in in this Morgan, you know, has a, cig- yeah, a cigarette on an extender with his beret, a, a glass of. I mean, if he's Kavassier, fully he living he that life, your wife, fine, <laughs> you know, and then he leaves. But if he's just one of those hipster fuckers that no, just no, no, does, does not, not give a guy shit. Was like fifty. Oh no, oh. it wasn't like a kid. Oh no, he's like 50. <laughs> I don't find with you. Sir. Sorry, that does that does change the, <laughs> yeah, the yeah, dynamic yeah, yeah. of the story a little bit. Although. I I wrote a piece that I just submitted to an editor that I argued that the mustache is dead. Is it dead? Completely. The beard is flowing. The beard is still is still huge. The beard is fine, but like the mustache, like that that no one can really rock. Aren't the and no one can really like the grow. annual mustache awards every single year? I don't know, but it's just is it going? Fallon has one now, and it looks awful. His does not look good. But that's like ninety percent of all mustaches. He must be surrounded by a bunch of yes men, because <laughs> because oh, yeah. seriously, it does not look that, good. I you know, I don't. There's I like don't, four people that can rock a mustache and that get away with it. Yeah, Brian Cranston. Yeah, Sam know, Elliott. Sam Elliott. Yeah, of course, Sam Elliott. Yes. Selleck. Tom Selleck. Waters. Yeah, and that's really it. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone else, I mean, shave and, your mustache. And Johnny Depp occasionally. Eh, Depends yeah. on the mustache. If he's being a pirate. <laughs> Does Matthew McConaughey, he has no. a mustache. No, he can't do it. Mc- McConaughey no. can't do that. No, McConaughey. He really needs to stay he needs clean to- shaven. Or like, just like scruffy. Why are we talking about this? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Um, what else do you drive? Uh, I don't know, a bunch of shit. GT350 from Classic Recreations. Oh, one of them old is new, and it was, wasn't there, there was another, um, did you get to drive the orange thing they did? Oh, Villain? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. drove that. That was is a it, while ago. Yeah, yeah, is yeah. It, is it that? I mean, it'd be, it's okay, you can be honest. Like, yeah, kind it's of. It's a different style, it's a different thing, it looks like It Eleanor. handled better. Did it? Yeah. Villain wider tires, pretty good. wider tires, stickier tires, like mm-hmm. Nitto NT05s. Yeah. Um... They, the seat needed to go down a little. So Sitting up on it and not in it. I would have liked a little bit lower because like my head was just scratching. Oh, yeah. And that was not yes, fun. Yes, you need lower. That's why I like those Detroit speed cars. They put the seat on the floor. You sit nice. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Where, you can, that would where be you're great. six foot and you can barely sit over the seat over the dashboard. That would be love, wonderful. I love that. Shit. I would love that, It's too. great in a Subaru, too, or an Evo. Are you ever drive an Evo 9 where you sit all fucking down yeah, low yeah. and you steer up here? Oh, it's the best. <laughs> the new WRX. What, so I was just driving that, and it it sits a little too high. The Focus does too. Oh yeah. Oh, they that just really sits. A high. company in Europe uh, just made a, uh, a seat lowering bracket, but not for the American seats. Only for the the Euro power seats, like the or the Euro um, the, the manual Recaros. seats, the Recaros, Yeah, which are not comfortable. No. I drove one. I mean, they had like them in the Mustang for a long time. No, no, these are harder. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck that. These have less padding than that. They're not the the they're not the Mustang cars. Hmm. No, uh, the Mustang cars are not bad. I'm a fan of those. Yeah, they're all right. <laughs> like I like they're, them better than the squishy. They're like, not as good as BMW's Recaros in the M4. Oh, the new ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The new M, the M4. I just had one for like a, a week. It was eminently comfortable. I was so pleased. I've with never the liked the M4 though. Uh, this one had cloth seats, and and it was uh, it was really comfortable. Not I, the M4. I'm sorry, M3. Ceram- oh yeah, yeah, yeah. M3, M3, yeah, M3 yeah, yeah. manual cloth seats, ceramics. Ooh. Boom. It was yes. great. Eighty-two thousand out the door. Oh Jesus. You could take. It had some dumb stuff you could take off though. Yeah. You. It was really like seventy-five thousand with some uh, that's with the, some yeah, extra that's not shit. Terrible. Like yeah, the C63 I had. It had like lane keep assist. You could oh, all you that crap that. you take off. Do not need that. How much was the C63 you had? 92. Coupe or sedan? Coupe. The edition coupe, 1. Is the coupe more? Oh, the edition 1. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, the edition 1 is this, how many they're going to sell. There someone actually bought one 
near my house. I see I it can't. every single day. It's silly. It's stupid. I bet it drives good, right? Yeah. I drove good. it from LA to Vegas and then back. Is it comfort mode is good, right? Yeah. I mean, I went, I went real fast. <laughs> I, <laughs> I allegedly, I allegedly raced. I, I don't even know if I should say this. Allegedly, it's all okay. Alleged. Allegedly, it's Jason. All Con- alleged. Okay, so Jason Connor from Hoon- uh, from Camden Tubbed and uh, Hooniverse and yeah. all the other stuff was flying from San Diego to Vegas. Mm-hmm. And where we would meet up and we were on a drive program together. I allegedly beat him from LA to Vegas uh, in the C63 by 15 minutes. Wow. Congratulations to the alleged victor. Yeah. <laughs> Go the alleged spoils. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. <laughs> yeah. What, how much power is that thing making now? 505. Yeah, that's a bunch. Four, it's four liters. I think it's underrated too. Sure it is. Cars, I the, the C, regular C63s I drove sedan was fast as balls. Oh yeah, really, really fast. Not as fast as the M5, but really fast. It's the governor is definitely taking off all of the US spec cars. You know, I get a lot of press cars that that where they someone they wrote, supp- writes 155 somewhere and yeah, guess never. what? That shit don't happen. No, 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 no. Do me a favor. I just noticed something. Can you slide a little towards the end of the table? Towards that, yeah, that way, just that a way. little bit. Yeah, move yeah. your whole self, your whole yeah. self. See, that's a better shot. That is a better shot. I'm Here, trying I'm to do a couple things at once, and I just noticed that shot could be improved. Look at that. We professionals now. Somewhere. Uh, the studio is shrunk because of this uh, thing. We can't do the six anymore. Mm, we yeah. can do. Th- we can. Well, we're gonna take the extra two mics and just make them like come out of the middle with cords, so like we could stuff extra people if we want. But just surround them right here. We're doing video cameras. Yeah, no, everyone just crowded on top of each other. I just did a podcast at a very small table. Like, imagine the, the table we did it at was like, it was three people and it was the table like was like this. That's a lot. The whole, it was a small table. You need a, you need a bit of room. This is a pretty big table. Yeah, this is a good table. You need, except it's like, I should probably put some sort of padding because so it doesn't go, you know, you hear that. It. Yeah, you do. You got to put the people final sub- wrap. People just with sub over just got annoyed. So you, I had, you know what? I have a bunch of it with like a TST logo. <laughs> Rap, uh, <laughs> I get a lot of these rap companies that want to rap my cars and shit, and I don't, you know, I, I don't care. So, uh, but I should get them to, rap, to wrap, wrap the table, wrap the whole table. I could wrap them and wrap the table in this this pile of swag T-shirts <laughs> we have over here. The T-shirts are accumulating. We need to give those away. Who do you have? Like, how, where did they just? So come many from? people come through and be, and leave T-shirts. Just leave shit. There's so many, and I, I I don't know what to do with them. I mean, I can give them away, but like. It actually like kind of takes some time. Like, what do we do? Give away one box of fifty T-shirts? In? I guess I could. That's it. Just one guy wins fifty T-shirts. <laughs> one guy wins fifty T. You better be an extra large because <laughs> let me tell you something. There's a limited right, size here's, selection. We're narrowing down on the on this giveaway, so it's only extra large people. Yeah, you're gonna win fifty T-shirts, and it, you pay for shipping. There's there's. <laughs> We have a lot of shit. We have like a bunch of Alex Roy's crap in this <laughs> office too. Our office is not looking good at the moment, aside from the corner right here. now. And even the corner here has our shitty looking fridge. You know, we should probably remove that from being set. At no, this just point. wrap that too. Wrap okay. that. Wrap that. <laughs> but the rest of the office needs some needs some real love. <laughs> Just uh, just posters and yeah, wrap everything. Wrap everything. We're going to make curtains. We can, you know, do some things. I want to make sure this internet comes in first. That would be good. Did I tell you our television caught on fire yesterday? We turned on that TV, which is admittedly is old. I think the TV is seven years old. Okay. And <clears throat> it went pop, 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 pop. And sparks flew out of it and Holy smoke. Fuck. And I yanked the plug out of the wall and... That's uh, that's the end of that TV. Someone, Zach was like, "Do you think maybe we could fail?" I'm like, no, we're no, done. just it's out, it's done. But it caught it caught fire a bit. <laughs> <laughs> it caught fire just a oh, little. Oh, it's just a little. It's just been, the tip. It's been a long couple of days around here, my friend. God damn. Uh, <laughs> all right, we are gonna take uh, an ad break. Get some real estate going in this B. We'll be money. back uh, with John Klein and. Uh, Hopefully, y'all got me some uh, some Facebook topics to talk some about. Questions. Oh, look, you have. Uh, we will return.
Smoking Tire Podcast is brought to you by Harry's. Harry's razors. I love these razors. I use them every single day. I use them in the shower with my Mylar mirror. These are precision engineered German blades, right? Five blades per cartridge. Harry's makes them in their own factory. They're not a private label shop. They're not a middleman for some other blade company. Harry's makes their blades in-house, and they send them to you for half of what it costs to get them from a drugstore. You got to understand these. Like They cut out the middleman. They sell direct online, and they are looking for a great quality shave. But it's not just about blades with Harry's. Their moisturizer products, their shave cream, the quality of the handles are Excellent. I use them constantly, and I got, I'm telling you, a year's worth of blades, an entire year, for $60. It's a great shave at a fair price, which is why over 3 million guys have switched to Harry's. And get this, I'm going to help you out here. Go to harrys.com slash tire, T-I-R-E, the American way, and I'll give you a trial shave set for free. When you sign up at harrys.com slash tire slash tire, that includes a weighted ergonomic razor handle, five precision engineered blades with a lubricating strip and a trimmer blade, rich lathering shave gel, a travel blade cover to get your free trial set. Go to harrys.com slash tire right now. That's harrys.com slash tire. How about Blue Apron, my friends? Blue Apron is the number one fresh ingredient and recipe delivery service in the country. Here's what they do. They send you food right to your crib or right to your office. And what they do is they send you the exact right amount of food to make the perfect meal, right? All the spices you need. All of the uh, uh, all of the ingredients you need, you're not going to have extra, and you're not going to be short. They're guaranteed fresh. Each meal comes with a step-by-step, easy-to-follow recipe card and pre-proportioned ingredients. Can be prepared in 40 minutes or less. The program is flexible, so you can customize each uh, recipes every week based on your preferences. They have different delivery options to fit what works with your schedule, and there's no weekly commitment, so you only get deliveries when you want them check out this week's menu and get your first three meals for free with free shipping by going to blueapron.com slash tire blueapron.com slash tire you'll love how good it feels and tastes to create incredible home cooked meals with blue apron so don't wait blueapron.com slash tire blue apron a better way to cook how about Garage Boss oil drain pans? These Garage Boss drain pans are legit. They are really trying to make it as easy as possible to change your own oil at home. And the problem with doing this kind of stuff is always the mess. Garage Boss helps with that. They have a height adjustable catch funnel to get you right under that drain plug to prevent misses or splashes. It works with low profile cars, cars on ramps or jacks, or even trucks or trucks on ramps jacks. Height adjustable. It all drains into a sealed container. All you clean up is the catch funnel and you're done. The pieces snap back into the drain container when you're finished. And Garage Boss is now making crystal clear funnels so you can see how much you're pouring to prevent overfilling. Uh, the Reacher oil drain pan is sold exclusively at AutoZone or AutoZone.com. Or you can go to go. You can go to GoGarageBoss.com to see everything they do, or search Garage Boss on Amazon. Lastly, of course, the Smoke and Tire Podcast official racing simulator sponsor is Forza Motorsport Horizon and Forza Motorsport Seven. The Forza franchise is the best racing game franchise that there is. This is my friends. Uh, we're talking 700 cars. We're talking 30 locations. We're talking 4K, 60 frames per second, HDR color. This is like racing in real life. It's as close as you can get visually and from an auditory perspective as it gets to racing in real life. I love this game. I play it all the time. And uh, the new Xbox One X is powerful enough to handle it. But you can still get Forza Motorsport 7 on all the legacy systems and uh, for Windows. Hit it up at xbox.com slash Forza or ForzaMotorsport.net to pre-order. It will be out very, very soon. Uh, we're back. We're back. Just did it. Just did it. We had to go outside. Ugh, no air conditioning. So this situation, no air conditioning, no windows opening, no nothing. We got a little fan under the table. So if you see us sweating. No, we're just this. trying to keep... I, the sound, you don't want to be listening to a fan, but like 
it's bad in here. Yeah. I got to film a lot of these videos with the windows up, you know, and, and some most cars of the ACs nowhere. don't work. <laughs> 15 minutes, it's like 100 degrees outside. It probably goes oh. up to 130, 140 in the car. Yeah. It's bad. That's gross. You, complete, you sympathize with the fucking dogs, let me tell you that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There's uh, John was nice enough to, to get this waters, but we didn't put them in the fridge. <laughs> so there's beer in the fridge. It's and cold. It's not ideal beer. You got porter. Yeah. And I found a strawberry blonde. But actually, you not know. Bad? It's, it, it tastes like it's made with love. <laughs> it really does. 4.3%. I'll be good. I got 5.2. Mm. Cheers, buddy. Cheers. Um, what? Oh, we should. That, that resonated. We're going to have to solve that problem. Um, what did you say right after we caught break? You said, oh, you rode Keanu Reeves' arch motorcycle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's, uh, what's the story with that thing? I mean, it looks cool. Everyone says nice things. It's actually super dope. Uh, yeah. It's probably the most raw bike I've ever driven. Uh huh. Um, raw meaning scary? No, like kind of raw as in the most horse-like. <laughs> okay. Where, no, like like it's that connection. Like it forms that connection of like when you're riding a horse. Okay. Like it's that kind of old world type of feel. Okay. So it's it's got an SNS like V twin, but it's got all proprietary like intakes and camshafts, so it kind of vibrates a little bit different than like a normal SNS. So like, like a solid engine mounts kind of thing. Kind of, but oh. it feels good. <laughs> It really does. Like, it it feels really, really cool. Because uh, the vibrations kind of connect you to the road a little bit more than your average bike. Because yeah. you kind of get that. With mo- most normal kind of bikes, it's a little bit dead. Uh, just because of the bike the, suspension? Yeah, or? the damping on, uh-huh. the, on, the, on the suspension. Um, but this is Even just, like a hardcore bike? Yeah. Like, really? I had um, Yamaha's FC10. Uh-huh. So it's their big leader bike, cross plane crank, 180 horsepower. Like, it is fast bike, fast as fuck, very fast bike. And it was a it was a puppy dog, 90 percent of the time. Like it was only when you got really really on it was it did it turn yeah to psycho. This was this was I don't know. It, it sounds sexist, but like a manly type of bike. <laughs> it's on psycho mode all the time. Kind of, and that's Don't it's you kind think of cool. Is like a lot of those big, you know, Japanese, and that the one you were talking about is a little more of the touring. Mm, it's mm. not the super brace bike it's, style. Yeah, right? it's it's not full fairing. Yeah, it's it's an upright. The full fairing one you feel like has got to be tuned a little more gnarly. Like the the upright one, like I, I don't know. Like I had like the S one thousand RR, the yeah. BMW. Yeah, that thing's fucking gnarly, mm-hmm. but it kind of felt very similar to the the Yamaha. Think that's so people don't die? Oh yes. <laughs> Can you get first these? first gear in the in the S one thousand is ninety two. Jesus, I mean obviously there's a l- big difference between an, a BMW and a Yamaha and an Arch motorcycles. You know from a hardware perspective too. But yeah, you know what? You know, I, and I've I've driven cars where it's like, oh, that's fu- that's gnarly as shit. I get this. Yeah. You know that Draken thing. Do you drive the Draken? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that, that right? Thing's, that thing's dope. Yeah, like that. Um. That kind of stuff feels gnarly compared to really any production car. Right. So is it kind of like that? A little bit, yeah. Yeah. It feels, it's, the actual machining, like all of it's machined aluminum, which is kind of cool. Like a lot of people are going like a lot of plastic. Yeah. It's, it's very Singer or Icon-esque where they do not. Where everything like, they is They do metal. not like plastic. Yeah. yeah. They do not like plastic there. So it's just like riding a big hunk of metal. Yeah. Yeah. I, I could appreciate that for sure. I, was, I can appreciate it was an icon. Fun. Me and um, Guard, who's Keanu's business partner, we uh-huh. rode uh, up the 105, then cruise PCH for a little bit. I've seen a few of them around. Yeah. And I've seen one with someone who appears to be Keanu Reeves on it, riding around. He rides it a lot. Yeah. Like, when he's in town, he rides it a lot. Yeah. They, uh, um, they look fucking great. They look mm-hmm. bitching. It's smaller, like in person. Like from the pictures, I thought it was going to be a little bit longer of a bike. Uh huh. But it's. It's fairly compact. It looks like it has a pretty short wheelbase. Like yeah. a Ducati monster size bike. Yeah, kind of. Right? Yeah. Yeah. What are they going for, those things? 80. But that's, that's, that's every single bit is Out custom. Out the door. Yeah. That's with all of the customization. So, you, like, if you go to Singer and you, or Icon and you're like, well, I want this machine or I want this, this, you know, this custom, they'll start tagging on stuff. 
It's, uh, it's yeah, kind of, I mean, I think you accept that singers are not the uh, the base price. Right. You know, no one gets the base singer. <laughs> I, get, I get the base singer. No. No, no one gets the base no, anything. No. Nobody even gets base 9-11. The, ba- the myth of the base 9-11. Base 9-11 is great, though. It is, but, like, nobody gets that. No. Just because even someone who thinks they're going to get that, they don't get that. That's true. When you find out all the little shit you can get. Who doesn't want a little, just a little, a little bit extra love? Who doesn't want the fucking, pi- you know, when it's placed in front of you, you know? Yeah. Even if the value is the $96,000 Carrera with nothing in it or $92,000 Carrera with nothing in it. When you go to order it, you, you still want two or three f- things. You may, maybe it's a color matched key or maybe there's just they don't exist. I've tried it. I, like I've. A lot of my day is spent on no. I'm just kidding. Uh, on the Porsche configurator, but I've I've tried to be like, all right, what can I live with? Just the barest amount. Like, these Yo, are like all I, the custom things. Well, what do I actually could? What would I actually really want? I drove. And a, I always check. I drove a pretty basic uh, Carrera. Did you drive the red one that was yeah, circling yeah, around? Yeah, yeah. It was like '96. Yep. It was delightful. It was wonderful. It was, and it's the only Carrera I've ever driven that was actually like fast, fast. Because it's the. It was the S. No, I drove. I drove a the two new ones I've driven or three. I drove the base rear wheel drive Carrera, non S manual sport exhaust sports seats. That was it. Oh no, then the, and it yeah, was, yeah, the non-S. It was awesome. Yeah. so good, and no none of the extended leather and shit. You did, and I didn't miss any of it. It was great. No, you do want the sport seats and you do want the sport exhaust. I don't like the sport exhaust. Why? Because it fart? Because it goes pop, 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 pop. Well, it goes pop, pop, pop in the exact same tenor and tone every single time. There's no variation to it. It goes pop, 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 and it'll do pop, pop, pop every time you lift off. The uh, that it kind of does, yeah. So, you, would you just get the regular exhaust and then have someone else make a better exhaust? Yes. Okay. And go to like enough. BBI. <laughs> yeah, you want a little something, but yeah. it does sound good. And then I drove a 4S PDK, mm-hmm. which was nice. And it's a GT and, car now. Yeah, but it was fast as hell. Oh yeah, and and then I drove a GTS manual. That what was it a fucking manual? The GTS on the press launch. Yeah, it was awesome. The GTS is I real, real fast. Yet. GTS is great, really fast, really good. I think we're so All Stars like our All Stars event is uh-huh. coming up. So it's like our car of the year. Mm-hmm. I think we're gonna get the GT3. And the really the manual like, one, yeah. be a I, Euro car. I hope so. I, I don't. Think I hope anyone it, is getting. I hope it's the manual. I hope it's not the PDK. When are you shooting it or doing it? December. Oh, maybe that might be late enough in the year. I heard nothing till the end of the year. All right. But uh, in fact, I'm you know. You did you talk to Frank? I did. Yes. Yeah. I it's you know. There's okay. Some. So if Frank is listening, please send us a, <laughs> please a send, manual GT three one GT three to uh. to automobile for all stars this year. I have I have a summer that is utterly almost completely devoid of press cars. Hmm. So much road time. Yeah. Like 24 days a month shooting for Holy I mean I they're not they're crap. not they're destination press cars. Yes, home press cars okay. nothing. Yeah, no. Everywhere I go there's something sick waiting. Yeah. It's awesome. That that's, that's I don't have to good. book them. Oh, it's the best. Not having to book your own so, press cars is glorious. I book, I book our entire magazine's press cars. Well, that, see, that could be advantageous to you as well, right? Yeah. Right. I try to score some of the good stuff and then not tell anyone. <laughs> it's booking your own press cars without an automobile magazine business card is tough. Yeah. It's tougher. It's I, tougher, I do get yeah. St- I get stuck in the back of the line. And I'm not – it's just how it is. I, I understand. It's tough. Like, I still haven't had a fucking Julia. I'm the last person on earth with no Julia. Yeah, I and I don't know, maybe they're having some issues. <laughs> but yeah, I, just, I still I drove it for five minutes. And it was good. Have you done Demon? No, I didn't either. No, the the press mo- the press launch was like a quarter mile, <laughs> quarter mile drag poles. I get the point of the Demon. You know, I would like yeah, I'd like to ha- to play with one as a as a press car. If they're yeah, yeah. you think they're giving them fucking things out? I doubt it. No uh, way. I don't think so. Mm-mm. That'd be funny though. I mean, I, That'd be I, I would happily ask. I don't think they're giving those things out. I do. I'm really about the wide body Challenger Hellcat. Oh, yeah, that looks. I'm really, really good. about that. So if it, if it really if it turns in the way I think it does, because it's because the, the one thing other than being wide, it comes with I think 305s all around now mm-hmm. instead of 275s, which is like glorious. 
But if the wheel wells will hold a 315, that's going to be the way to do it at all four corners. Isn't the Demon have 315s? At the back, we're okay. talking. I think the front is going to be the concern. The 305. Yeah, but yeah. with the wider body, I don't. I don't know. It yeah, might make. Think, it might be possible. It probably will be. You just cut. It's like, going to be kick ass. Just take out the fender liners. you would be fine. Yeah, I'll tell you what. My move is the Hellcat Jeep. Oh yeah, that's on my list of like that. Depending on Track how. Trackhawk. Yeah, I don't, for no. Whatever it's, it's called. Whatever they decide to call it, it's Hellcat Jeep. Why would you not call it? Hellcat. Did you go on the press launch for the uh, Challenger Hellcat? No. The original Challenger no, Hellcat? No, 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 no. So when we went on the press launch for the original Challenger Hellcat, A, it rained the whole time. That began my streak of rainy muscle car press launches. Sounds awful. And uh, it was uh, it was fun. I got yelled at for sliding. I was like, what the fuck do you want me to do? It's 700 horsepower. I got to make a fun video. It's raining. What would you like me to do? I'm uh, going to drift this. Yes. No matter and, what. Um, and uh, the... <laughs> But they didn't have the the actual the the Hellcat badge. It just said supercharged, like in little letters. I was like, You called something Hellcat and didn't make up a cartoon character? Like you're fucking Mopar. You know, and obviously I was not the sole voice of reason. Other people were yeah, like, Why have you not made thing. a cartoon character? What are you doing? Yeah. Where's the hell you know, why does it say supercharged and not Hellcat? And then they came out with badges. And then it was better. They improved it. But uh the wide body is It looks fun. It's gonna be good. And supposedly, if you put some better tires on it and then do something with the intake, you can probably get a little bit more horsepower and you're running very close to the Demon. Yeah, I mean, Hennessy's tuning these things to 1,000 horse. I mean, it can be done. Yeah. The motor's pretty – the motor's stout. Yeah, the motor's if – Especially like, if you're starting with a Hellcat motor and not as a, you know, not a 6.4. Um, and the chassis has been braced to all hell, so you're not <laughs> – What do you think they're going to do with the Jeep? 700 horsepower. It's going to be awesome. You've driven an SRT, Grand yeah, Chandler, yeah. right? Oh, yeah. Have you, you ever you driven one on a track? It. No, I, I drove it in Malibu. Oh, yeah. Right. And but, it, you, dude, I drove one on a track day in, Calif in uh, Colorado. Really impressive. Like a big oh, rally car. Yeah. You could they slam so curbs. Fast. The hard, yeah. They're good. With 700 horsepower, it's going to scoot. It's really. It's going to be evil. Mm -hmm. It's going to be faster than... Do you think it'll be faster than the Demon to 60? Because all-wheel drive? All-wheel drive? Uh, I think... Drags. I think slicks and skinnies might. How much heavier is the Jeep? It's got to be heavier. I don't know if all-wheel drive. Well, what's the Demon weigh? Like thirty-eight, or is yeah, it over the four? Jeep's got to be fucking five. The Jeep's got to be five. We're gonna do it. We're gonna go to the. We're gonna we're gonna go, go, I'm going to the internet. I'll look up Demon. You look up. Oh boy, this is what we're doing on this podcast right now. I can't it, believe it. I'm doing it live. Jeep SRT eight. Wait. Demon weight. Uh, what is it? What do you think? 5150. Just right. like the seminal album. 5,150 pounds for a brand new SRT. And think about it. Hellcat much, is going to weigh. Much? Hellcat's going to add at least 100, 150. How so much is the Jeep? 5150. 43-ish. Mm. Big difference. Big difference. Big difference. You put, you put that kind of that kind of weight differential on slick tires, I think the Demon wins. But... Put, fucking Hellcat put, Jeep. Put Hellcat the most Jeep important thing, tires, though, is though. to call it the Hellcat Jeep. Yeah. Dodge not needs to redo that. Trackhawk. No way. Trackhawk track track is not good. I mean, I get it because they have the Trailhawk. Right. But I really don't that's care. That's not as good of a... No. That's not a, a pun that works. Hellcat Jeep. Yeah. That's it. Just end the conversation there. Let's go to Facebook. Do we have Facebook. a thing? Do we have a thing from Facebook? Uh, Questions. Do people care? Probably not. Yes, they do. No. Oh. 16 of them. Which is good. Which actually is good because uh, the I didn't give us much lead time. <laughs> I was... Uh, okay. Uh, let's see. What, par what purpose do supercars serve nowadays in places like LA? They're a dime a dozen. Uh, most somewhat. But, you know, there's... Never mind. Are they strictly for the rich and famous? Well, okay. the rich. Yeah. Or do w will car people... Still get uh, this, huh? You know, do supercars matter? Is that the court? Do really supercars question? matter? Will normal people ever get to enjoy them? Yeah, yeah. There's ways you just to, have to wait. Supercar. You can go to the you know Speed Vegas. You can go to Speed Vegas and drive some sick shit for not a ton of money. Forty nine dollars, like is Speed for Vegas five laps. that cheap? Yeah, Oof, that's cheap. I might want to spend a little more. There's Dream a, Racing had a sick fleet. There's 
Exotics Racing's got a fleet. There's a bunch of places. There's a you ton of places you guys could all go to and yeah. drive supercars for fairly cheap. And also, racing actual wheel to wheel racing shit boxes is probably a better use of your money. Uh, it is, but they're fun for but you know a couple hours. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Chris wants to know. So I drove the Aventador S in Miami. All right. And I talked about it a little bit on the show, but, uh, is it a driver's car? Um, would a driver look on the new GT three that pulls up next to it with envy? So the Aventador S has 50 more horsepower. It has four wheel steering now, Ooh. which really does help. It helps it. It helps it get, turn a, in. get around a corner. It helps yeah. it turn in. It gives it ridiculous high speed stability. Have you been to, um, PBIR? No. Palm Beach International Raceway. No. Six tenths of a mile back straight. I hit 170. Holy so crap. So it was great. It was nice. It's real fast, and it and it still has a hint, a bit of understeer. But uh, but it turns. Is it just it the tur- tires? Are they still using Pirellis? Still using Pirellis. Oh, well, I'll that- tell you what. It pissed rain in Miami, and I was so happy to have those normal tires and not to have, like, a race tire. Right. It's not like Trofeos. It's, re- it's regular P0. Yeah. Yeah. I was so happy to have them. But, I mean, the understeer could be helped with a, yeah, yeah, a better could, set of tires. Yes. You could probably. I, I haven't ever tried one on different tires, but I bet you could do something with tires. Yeah. Um, let's see. Is the Ford GT overpriced yes. considering cars like the NSX offer similar performance for less than half the cost? Yes, it is. Have you driven one? No. How do you know? Uh, one of the guys at work drove one. Did he have troubles? He, just, he said it was just like a car. Like, it was. it's just a fast supercar but it wasn't like anything super well, not special a, it's not a ring endorsement is it yeah like it seems I, like it's a race I've, car pretty much yeah yeah it's just a race car and then they built it for the road it's not like i'd rather have, personally the old ford gt was a terrible race car but a great road car right this seems like the opposite really i, I i've heard that before i'd rather just like for this for less money i'll get a 720s I'll have more McLaren, horse, yeah. yeah. I'll yeah. have more horsepower. It'll feel better on the road, and I'll be able to take it just as fast around yeah. the track. But America, listen for some America. I I C eight. If, if C8's I could, coming. If I had the means, I would definitely get get one. C 8s coming. What a Corvette? Zora. Yeah, Zora. It's coming. Is it? Yeah. Is it coming? It's coming. It's coming everywhere. No, it's coming. <laughs> it's coming. Maybe. Yeah, you'll maybe. get the money shot. Don't worry. Maybe I, I have thirty years of road and track covers of the new mid engine Corvette. Huh? I have spy shots. Yeah, they always have a mule. Always got a mule. They've been they t- they've tried it every time. They haven't those 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 stories don't come from them not trying. Here, okay, it. so here's the thing: the Corvette is the C7 is coming up on Should its really get softer coasters. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the C7 is coming up on its lifetime. Yeah, it's right around that time where they do like a little bit of a mid-cycle refresh but it's it's nearing it the only mule we've seen that could be like the next generation because usually this is when we start seeing the next generation like mules Uh around the only one that we've seen is the zr1 which is coming out within the next probably six months no 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 they look they built and the c8 haven't they built they've built the c since 2014 Three years. I think there's like three more years on this, right. on this body. But you usually see mules starting but to go But couldn't the mules in. just have C7 body work and be that kind of thing? But the only mule we've seen is the ZR1. The, other, the only other mule that we've seen is uh-huh. the mid-engine one. Hmm. So the only two that have been the running timing ar- might be off. The only two that have been running around Detroit yeah. are the ZR1 and the mid-engine and one. The mid-engine. Okay. Maybe after 30 years, those magazine covers will finally be right. And they have a new engine that's coming out, too. The LT5. Yeah. Which I... DOHC. I don't think so. You think it's so? I don't think so. I don't think so. I think so. I feel like it's not. I feel like... I feel like it's not. I feel like they always say that. They have the patent for it. I'm sure they do. I don't think it's happening. And it sounds like the ZR1 might be it. I don't think it's happening. There's no room. You can't put a fuck... You ever see the size of a dual overhead cam motor? Coyote. (laughs) Yeah, you think you fit that in the front of a ZR1? Fuck no. Have you seen the ZR1's hood? Yeah, it's, it's got a bigger. It's got the bigger. Way super- different than the. Yeah, the it's the because you need Z06. the bigger because you need the bigger supercharger. You need to use the 2.3 liter blower, not the 1.9. Do you think they just switched over? to Yeah, the 2.3? to make it more power and not have it fucking overheat. That would. Be Why a good would they idea. do something not lazy when they could do something lazy that works? Mm. It's gonna have 700 horsepower with the fucking. 
with the the 2.3 so yeah, lt5 would probably be just for the zora yeah it won't fit in the front of a corvette no fucking way it'll fit in the back of that one uh chris cavallari does the aventador s have a place in the world when the 488 and the 720s exist the 488 i haven't driven a 720s but the 488 is very practical hmm. right aventadors are not super practical it's it's the definition of a supercar yeah it's, it's not stupid. really comfortable. It's it's very wide. It's intimidating. It's it's low. It's the Lamborghini. Yeah. Um, it has the, it has a position in the world because it is a Lamborghini, yeah. and everyone that loves Lamborghini will love the event. Store. It's it's real fast. It's not great in traffic. It's not horrible in traffic, but it's not great in traffic. It's not a, a normal car. It doesn't have like you know. It has a place. If you look at it and you go, I have to have that. It makes total sense. It's a great looking car. It's fast. If I had the Sounds money, I'd great. probably get one. Yeah, if you have all the money, for sure. Uh, how do our opinions on drivers' cars differ now from when we were younger? Oh, I mean, I love the Viper. Viper was my first poster car, and I don't know. It's not really like a perfect driver's car. It's not really. Yeah, a it's, a dri it's a driver's car. But how has your opinion changed? You didn't like it, and now you like it? No, I liked it. And now you don't like it? I still kind of want one. I, th I don't think that question I, I, was meant to be that specific. I'm probably dude. not. I, think I don't know. That, I think that question is more like, do you value different things? Yeah. Like, what did you value when you were younger versus what do you value now? All power, yeah. right? Yeah, it, was much, all, it was all just stats. And yeah. Just like shit. I'd, but I'd rather have something that feels better in the corners. I value ride quality now. Like, I've driven enough fast cars to know that the stiffest cars are not necessarily the best. No. And so stiff... They tend to skip. Yeah, they skip. They get tossed around. Like And, like, even good race cars have some, you know, some spring to them. And they, you know... So, ride quality is something I've overlooked in the past. Uh, let's see. Yeah, they're, they're saying the next Fiesta's not coming to the U.S. Is that a thing? I heard that. I mean, we're not buying a lot of small cars right now as a no, country. We're not. We are not. And the Fiesta, you know, the ST is great, but all them ones with the automatics, wah, wah. Well, they just brought that the one cylinder. Or I the, got the I got the, the class action suit. Oh, did they? The letter, because I have a Focus, and they don't know what kind of transmission you get, so they send Damn. it to all Focus and Fiesta owners. Yeah, I can join in the class action. Well, I can't because I have a stick, but yeah. anyone who has an automatic. Big class action lawsuit. I mean, they're probably selling more Eco Sports than they are Fiestas. Oh wait, no, that's not out. What's yet. an Eco Sport? It's a Fiesta on like a CUV. Oh, like a tall Fiesta, like a C Max version yep. of a F really? Yeah. Is it ugly? It's good looking. It's another <laughs> CUV. <laughs> I feel it, you. It, fe it was featured in Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Two for a tenth of a second. I'm sorry. Yeah. Where does that happen? When that big blob is going, spoilers, when that big blob is going over, like, Earth, mm -hmm. you see it for, like, 10 seconds. That is it's hilarious. It's like a blue What do you think sport. that cost? $2 million? Oh, way more. Because they did a big campaign with it. Like, so that it is featured? Yeah, Featured yeah. in the movie for two I got, I, I got to see Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 thanks to Ford. Thank you, Ford. Is it the... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I thought it was a good movie. It was a good movie. Is, um... <laughs> <laughs> is it the only car no because kurt russell young kurt russell's driving a thing mustang in the 2 that's a must yeah 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 so mustang i'm thinking two, yeah i think ford yeah they a little got, bit more they got to exclusive get in there. automotive rights yeah now i'm gonna watch it again i'm, I'm gonna see that i'm gonna fucking die laughing that's funny yeah i know that happens there's that story i love hearing bob gale tell that ford wanted doc brown to drive a mustang and back to the future he was like doc brown doesn't drive a fucking mustang they tell all that shit in all the documentaries. It's fucking funny. <laughs> um, have you driven a Cadillac CT6? Someone wants to know about it. Yes. I haven't driven one. Is it any good? Not really. No? How is it different from the CTS? It's bigger? There's more bit. stuff in it? It's not really more stuff. It's, it's the same? Well, it's, kinda? The same it's the same chassis. So it just extended a little bit. And that's it? It really should. Like, I, I like the CTSV. I like the ATSV. They're good chassis. They're good cars. The CT6 never made sense to me. Uh, it doesn't really make sense to me either because I can barely spot one on the street. Like if I, I don't know if it's really a CTS or a CT6. I don't really. They look almost identical. Yeah, 
And do they share powertrains and stuff as yes, well? Yes, they do. So what's the point? I don't know. I mean, the CT6 has a different... I think it has a different V6, like a twin-turbo V6. Yeah, you, like the, v, the Vesport. Isn't that yeah, the Vesport. The Vesport. Oh, maybe it does. Then it probably does share the Them things same are, CTS. Someone emailed me. They bought one of those for like 42 U's. That's a good... That's a lot of that's car. A good really deal. fucking fast. That's a good deal. Yeah, they go good. I see that Goodfellas thing with them that got taken off YouTube because we use the real music. <laughs> well, can you just oh, like man. check a box and say like we understand that it's? Uh, yeah, real no, we music? did not enable ads or anything like that, but it was just a co- it got a copyright violation. <laughs> it got taken down. Uh, yeah, you live and you learn. You live and you learn. I mean, I did I did like uh, teasers when I worked at Bull Ride. And yeah. I used I used popular music. How long? How long were the teasers? Like a minute or two. Really? Yeah. And with ad, did you have ads enabled on YouTube or no? Mm, maybe not. No. no, no ads. If you're not a partner, they don't really care. If you're a partner, it's a problem. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's like you sign an oath. You know. That's lame. You stab, you prick your finger and sign it in fucking blood. Um, what do you got coming up? Anything good? Mm. <laughs> GMC Terrain. Really? Oh yeah. Uh, Going to I'm, Pittsburgh for that. Shit. <laughs> Having a press launch in Pittsburgh? Yes, we are. That's kind of, I, I, you know what? I wouldn't mind going to Pittsburgh, frankly. I've never been. It seems all so, right. So, hopefully it's good. Is there an updated terrain? The terrain was always kind of a decent car, but I just, it, it was said, it always kind of said rental car to me. I think they're selling a lot of them. Do you think it's that, ra- it's that weird, like, CUV, SUV market. Yeah, do you, do you think you're going to arrive in Pittsburgh and... That you're gonna be in one of those real people Chevy commercials when you get Please, there. No, I don't want to be. I think you are. Oh no! I think you're gonna show up and they're gonna be like, "It's well, gonna it's, be Vice." It's me and a couple friends that are are doing this wave, and we won't have any of that shit. My friend from my friend works at Vice from Connecticut, and he came out to say hi the other night, and he came over, and Vice Media has a com- you know commercial arm now where they're basically doing you know branded content yeah. for very. We have that too. Yeah, yeah. I mean, a lot of people do. It's how you pay the bills. But uh, he was really about the uh, the hashtag brands, hashtag branding, and he was uh, and they had a Vice Media crew that I made fun of at that Michelin Pilot Sport Four event, and uh, and he was like he was so offended by it because like they were filming you, they made you your own little reality show and you went up there it was like totally you know YouTuber ready. Oh, I saw. Th- did you see their their Canadian like car thing that they did? No. <laughs> oh, <laughs> what what was their Canadian oh, car? All right, I I gotta find it. Oh, well, I'll find it later and show you. But it's this. Send dude, it to me on Twitter yeah. tomorrow. <laughs> this dude is going around like interviewing like people in like weird little sections of the car community, uh-huh. enthusiast community, and it's all like the worst human beings <laughs> of the, the automotive community. And I, I watched three episodes, and I was just like, I wanted to strangle is it, someone. Is it satire, or is it serious? No, no, no. It's dead it's serious? serious. It's awful. <laughs> like, they did, like, Gold Rush Rally people. Oh, no. And then... That's like, you know what? That's like, I, super what sketchy drifters. And exactly what I did eight years ago. I drag racers. Like, I sc- street them. racers. I can't hate on this shit. That's exactly what I was doing, like, years ago. Oh, but it's just like... I, I, I know. I want to just be like, no. I know. Call me. I'll do it. I Vice, can't believe if you're anyone. listening, I, I will do your fucking show for you. Please, just let me tell real stories instead of, oh, my God, these are not the human beings that you should be interviewing. <laughs> Fuck these people. You know, uh, they automatic. I feel like they automatically start by going down, like, the criminal rabbit hole. They and do. They, they start at criminal and then work to cars instead of starting at, you know, normal car people. It's real bad. Like, they... They filmed, like, a chase at one point. <laughs> like, they were running from the cops, and I was just like, no. Did you ever see the fucking the thing with uh, uh, the guy from The Wire on um, about the car theft in Newark? No. Uh, it's fucking crazy. Don't ever drive a remotely new S- luxury SUV through Newark. All right. He basically was like, so, you know, thank the manufacturers. Like, we used to be able to steal them with tools. Now we got to steal them with guns because it's all keyless go. Holy this is crazy. Fuck. Yeah, it's Michael Michael K. Williams. Is that his oh, name? Yeah, yeah. Michael K. Williams, yeah. He hosts this fucking thing. I think it's for Vice, and it's crazy. It's just about car theft in Newark. But yeah. yeah. All right, my friend. Yeah. What do you want to plug? Automobile. Automobile. Um, you can find me on Twitter and Instagram at Jonathan underscore Klein. Jonathan is J O N O J O N A T H O N. It's yep. Jonathan. 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 Jonathan underscore Klein. Yep. 
Some, just, do you have to spell that out to everyone who spells it wrong in the customer yeah. service? Yeah. Even like PR people that I email will still get it. They a- fuck a- it up. They'll do AN. Do you have an auto forwarding address that the special the cor- with the incorrect spelling? No. You should but get I that should email do. address that's the same as yours but incorrect and auto forward it to you. That would be. Yeah, you should idea. at least search it. Your email address. It might. Yeah. It might you never know what's getting sent off into the fucking distance. Uh, just automobile. Anything else? Um, also, read Roadkill. Um, I'm doing a bunch of shit for Alana, which has been a lot of fun. Nice. So I did Scarbo SVF1. Oh, yeah. yeah. Which was super fun. So we went out into the middle of the desert uh, on private test facility. Like El Mirage kind of place? Sure. Yeah. Uh, And then I did a story with Blake Wilkie, who's that dude that got arrested for... Jumping, oh, for jumping the truck. Uh, jumping yeah. the Baja truck last yeah. year in San Diego. He was super rad. He got did he do sh- time? Uh, yeah. So he did three weekends in jail. Three weekends. That seems worth 45 it. 45 days uh, of house arrest. <laughs> and by the time... He, so he got less time. So this is a funny story. By the time the cops caught up with him, the car was already in Qatar. Uh-huh. Qatar, <laughs> huh? It got sold. Bro. Went to, it went to Qatar. Bro, I need I need cash, bro. <laughs> and they tried to have it brought back as like a Evidence. weapon. A weapon. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because they were trying to charge him with that ch- type of shit. But by the time he had went off house arrest and did all this, he had already built his new truck. <laughs> and it's just way gnarlier. So well, is, he gonna, is he gonna keep it on the keep it keep it legal, bro? Keep it legal. He yeah. kept it legal. He's super cool. Like he's just like I'm never doing that shit again. Yeah, thank you. Um, thank you. <laughs> yeah. What what uh, outlet is that for? That's for Roadkill too. Oh, cool. Great. That's awesome. Yeah. Killing it. Killing it. I'm about it. Thanks for coming down today, man. Yeah. No problem. Uh, I am. Uh, I don't know where our next podcast is gonna be coming from. It might be coming from. Actually, from New York, because we're doing some scenes for, for Drive. So we may have to do it remotely. We will see. Uh, thanks for coming down, dude. Yep. Thank you to the people watching the video. Thank you for uh, for the people listening to the podcast. The Smoke and Tire Podcast is powered by Shout Engine. Get your own damn podcast at ShoutEngine.com. All you need is some internet, some microphones, some computer interfaces, and set up that uh, podcast hosting through ShoutEngine.com. It is the way forward. Do it. Uh, thanks, guys. See you later.